Welcome to the Pitbull Patty Show. I'm your host, Patty Stuckler. We're keeping it real here with straight talk and sharing true stories that will inspire you to change your life. Are you ready for this? Because here we go. Most people probably don't realize that a leading cause of death is adverse drug reactions. This is when you take a medication and have an unexpected response that can even lead to, to death. So, um, and, it, and it's surprising to know that there are twice as many people that die of adverse drug reactions than uh, opioid overdoses. So is there a way to know if you're going to have a dangerous reaction uh, to some medicine that your doctor prescribes? My guest says there is. He is the founder and CEO of MedEx Prime, a patient care solutions company. Welcome, Sunil Wadwa. Welcome, hey, Sunil. Hey, Patty, how are you? Thank you so much for having me on the show. Sure. I am um, really curious about this topic because um, it just it, it is a staggering statistic. Is it, um, what, what is the, I know there's like top five uh, causes of death. Isn't it one of the top five causes of death? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's now ranked as a fourth leading cause of death in this country, Patty, and and yet nobody's really putting a spotlight on it. So thank you for for having me on the show and putting a big spotlight on this very very serious topic. Yeah, absolutely. No, I I definitely can relate to um, th- this topic. Really, for me personally, uh, was important because my my mom has. Um, hypertension she has high blood pressure she's had yeah. since i was born so many many years and um she's taken different medications and then about maybe 10 years ago she took some new medication and she had an adverse reaction and i mean it nearly killed her she she was uh before they realized uh that what was going on so it's it's um i know it's something that a lot of people probably need more information on so, um, so I've got a lot of questions for you. So, um, can you, but first just to kind of lay some groundwork, what exactly when, when people talk about adverse drug reactions, what, what all does that actually mean? Well, the, the facts are really scary. If you don't mind, I'll share a couple quick facts with your listeners. Um, we're a country that now prescribes 4 billion prescriptions on an annual basis, 4 billion. And the population of the U.S. is only 330 million, okay? Not billion, but 330 million. So if we do some quick math there, uh, we can very quickly ascertain that most of us are on medications, and unfortunately, most of us are taking multiple medications. The math just proves it that fact out, right? Mm-hmm. Two million of us are hospitalized every year because we took a medication or a combination of meds that didn't suit our body and put us in the hospital. But the more serious number is 125,000 of us, Patty, are going to die every year because we took the wrong medication or combination of medications. 125,000. And look, if you don't mind, I want to expand on that a little bit. You know, numbers are numbers. We hear numbers all the time, don't we? Thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, billion, and and those numbers go in and out of our ears, so to speak. But I want to really emphasize and make sure your listeners understand the seriousness of this. One hundred twenty-five thousand fatalities every year due to taking the wrong medication is like a, an airplane, if you will, crashing every single day with three hundred fifty passengers for the next one year. Let that sink in. When a plane goes down, unfortunately, in the world somewhere, there's huge media attention given, isn't there? Rightfully so. Yeah, absolutely. Rightfully so. But we're talking about 350 passengers crashing in an airplane every single day, and no one knows about this. It's one of the silliest things I've ever seen in my business career. The Mm -hmm. fourth leading cause of death, and no one is talking about it. Again, thank you for putting the spotlight on it today. Well, uh, you're welcome. I I, I remember watching um, a TV show, and I, I believe it was uh, Dr. G, medical examiner, and she did this show. This was a number of years ago now, but I remember she went through uh, the top five causes of death, and they were like smoking was one, alcoholism, I think, was another, obesity. But um, adverse drug reactions, um, you know, where you have medications that conflict and cause death, I remember was one of those. So I guess it is the was the fourth one. Um, so it was very surprising that, and it is surprising that there isn't more attention 
brought to it. It is. And, and what's what's really staggering is is uh, the president, October of uh, uh, 16 now, um, October 16, passed the emergency opioid um, law, if you will. Right. I don't know mm-hmm. if you remember that. Mm-hmm. And it was based around, of course, the unfortunate number of deaths due to prescribed opioids. OK, mm-hmm. now it's a national emergency that he passed. But. On an annual basis, we lose around 60, 65,000 people a year because of that issue. Prescribed opioid debts are around 60 to 65,000 a year. Patty, what we're talking about here is double the number. Wow. And yet no one's talking about it. How insane is that? And there's a very simple solution that not only does the population as a whole know nothing about it, but you're going to be just blown away when I make my next statement. Even the doctors, the medical community as a whole, do not know about it. If you and I walked out your door right now and we talked to 100 doctors, we'll be hard-pressed to find maybe one or two that might know about the genius of this test that I want to speak to you guys about today. Wow. I don't care if you're on the West Coast, East Coast, South, North. I don't care where you are in the U.S., if you and I walked out our doors anywhere in the U.S. and talked to 100 doctors, we'll be hard-pressed to find anyone. In fact, where we met you a couple of weeks ago was at the, uh, at the summit. Mm-hmm. And not one individual, and I mean not one individual at that summit knew about the brilliance of this test. Not one. Wow. Well, you got me curious. <laughs> yeah, well, I got you exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely sounds it sounds uh, very shocking. First off, that that uh, you're talking about something that so could be so important, but yet no one, even the physicians, don't know about it. Well, l- let me just say this: my opinion is that anyone that's on a medication, and mm-hmm. certainly a combination of medications, must get this test done period because without it an individual is simply playing russian roulette with their life wow just that simple well i mean have i've I've got so many questions for you as far as like what um you know how this came about how did how did this come about you know how did you even get involved in this and how did you find out about this test great question i'm so very passionate uh about this because I almost lost my wife 10 years ago due to an adverse drug reaction. So I was coming back five years ago uh, from New York to California. We just spent a week out in New York with the family and had a great time. Coming back, I was bored in flight and started flipping through magazines. And Patty, I ran across an article about this brilliant test. And as I'm reading this article, I got fuming mad because I reflected on what happened to my wife 10 years ago and what happened to my father about seven years ago now, where my father went through an open heart surgery. And as you can appreciate, an open heart patient is put on all kinds of medications, obviously. Mm -hmm. And the man had nothing but reactions. And every time he would call the doctor and say, doc, I'm feeling like crap, man. I I don't know what's going on with me. I'm weak and I'm dizzy. I'm falling a few times now. And of course, the doctor's response is what, Patty? Come on in and we'll try something else, Mm -hmm. right? So off to the doctors, we would take him and then off to the pharmacy because the doctor was adjusting his meds and so on and so forth. He would come home, try that cocktail of meds now, and sometimes it made make him a little better and many times it made him a lot worse. So again, on the phone with the doctor, look, what I'm describing here is nothing different than most all of the listeners on this call have not experienced, right? Mm-hmm. It's the same routine that we all experience. Call the doctor, they change out the meds. They try some other cocktail. Well, this nonsense went on for about a year with my father. So, Patty, I'm reflecting on both of the stories, my wife's story and my father's situation, as I'm reading this article in flight. And I got, again, fuming mad. And I got off the plane. I called my business partner, whom you've met. And I said, guys, this is ridiculous. How come the world doesn't know about this? So I went out, found the number one lab in the country that processes this test. And we started our mission, which is every patient, every doctor. For the last four and a half years, our mission has been to expose everyone about this test. Because, again, without this test, they're playing Russian roulette. That's how we started MedX Prime, Patty. 
So, wow. So I was just thinking, so MedX Prime, so you, because of your own experience and then learning about this test, uh, just by happenstance, it sounds like, uh, that you decided, hey, to start MedX Prime to really make it your mission to kind of get it out there, get this uh, test, um, you know, marketed, I guess. Is it, do, is this a test that insurance companies would pay for? Is this something that people would have to pay for out of pocket? Great question. Thanks for asking that question because that's, of course, every consumer's first uh, question, right? Do I have to pay for this? Yeah. Well, the nice thing is that Medicare is reimbursing for this test. Of course, a doctor has to determine whether the patient needs a test or not. Uh, but with a medical letter of necessity, not to get into the weeds, the, the test is generally covered by Medicare. Uh, Medicaid, which is really exciting, Medicaid is now even picking up uh, this test in, in 17 states, I believe it is now. And many insurance companies are also reimbursing. Look, when I first started the company five years ago, or close to five years ago, not a lot of reimbursements were happening, okay? And it was very discouraging that that uh, insurance companies didn't see the benefit in it. But today, we're seeing more and more, not all, but many insurance companies are now reimbursing for the test, which is really cool. And, and certainly Medicaid uh, and Medicare uh, as well. So uh, no reason why a patient should not go talk to their doctor about this. Well, I would think that the uh, insurance companies, it would be in their own best uh, interest because if, if you had an adverse reaction, you didn't die, but you ended up with a lot more uh, yeah. um, health problems that cost a lot more money for the insurance companies. Or if you did die and then you yeah. then they get sued because, yeah. uh, you know, so I would think yeah. it would absolutely be something they'd want to pay for. <laughs> well, they're, they're, they're waking up. The bean counters at these insurance companies are, are, are now understanding what you just said. In fact, a recent article, which we're really excited about, uh, just came out a couple months ago in a, in a magazine called Think Advisor. And that magazine cited that uh, by providing this very simple test, the insurance companies can save roughly around $4,000 per year, per year, per patient. That's significant when you stop and understand those dollar amounts that could be saved. So, yes, to your point, we're very, very pleased to see the insurance companies stepping up. Yeah, and in fact, I would think, to be honest with you, that number sounds low to me just because the numbers are always so high. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly. Why well, I can I can tell you they're probably much higher than that, but but we'll take the four grand a, a year savings uh, all day long. If you probably if you average it out, I could yes. see it being four thousand because there would be a lot right. of people would be a lot higher. <laughs> than... Exactly right. Exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, is the test then something that I'm that I'm I'm assuming it's it's past the experimental stage kind oh, of gotcha. thing? Is this something that's uh, if if you have insurance companies and you have Medicare and Medicaid starting to pay for it, then obviously yeah. it's it's approved. Is there is there some uh, is it something that um, some kind of government oversight has to approve it or? Or no. So great, great question. Let me give you some background on it. Uh, so the test uh, was actually uncovered by the U.S. government during the genome project, which took place now, I guess, what, 16 years ago, 15 years ago. And so the test was discovered during that. The, 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 uh, that whole project was like three point two or three point four billion dollar project back in the day. And that's where the genes were discovered that metabolize medication. OK. Mm -hmm. And hence, this test has now been in the market for 14 years. And, and, and to your question, to your point, it is not experimental. This is a proven science. Uh, and by the way, I mentioned that most doctors don't know about it. And, and by the way, this is not to any fault of the doc. Well, we love doctors. That's not the issue or the point. It's just that this information hasn't readily been made available yet, which is just shocking to me. Uh, because to me, this should be a test given to every patient, again, that's on, on, on medication. Certainly those that have had a reaction to medication need mm -hmm. this test like yesterday. But the test has been around for 14 years. Um, although, again, most of the medical community doesn't know about it, Patty. Uh, Mayo Clinic uses this test. Uh, Cleveland, Johns Hopkins, Stanford. Uh, in fact, St. Jude's Research Hospital two years ago announced that they're testing every patient with this test. So I applaud St. Jude's Research Hospital. I applaud, I, I bow to them, if you will, because they're very forward thinkers and, and uh, are using this test on, on, on every patient now. So yes, it is a proven science, not experimental in any way, shape or form, been in the market now for 14 years 
and nobody knows about it. It is surprising. In fact, uh, my mother actually goes to John Hopkins in Baltimore to a cardiologist that specializes in high blood pressure, uh, yeah. and he's never mentioned that test. I was not aware of any test. Yeah. Uh, so that's so interesting. So what? Uh, so it sounds like it's just starting to get into John Hopkins and some of those other uh, great institutions um, to be aware of it. But how yeah. how complicated is the test? Is it how long does it take to take the test? Is it easy to take? It's going to shock you. It's going to shock you. It's a whopping two minute test. It's two minutes. It's a Q tip in a patient's mouth, one minute on one side of the mouth, one minute on the other side of the mouth. Okay, two swabs in the mouth. It goes to our lab. Lab sends back a report to the doctor that says Patty's mom, based on her makeup, based on her metabolism, she can only have these medications but never these medications. In fact, based on her genetic makeup and her DNA metabolism, she should only have this dosage of this medication, this dosage of that medication. So it's a very comprehensive, very detailed test that does drug to drug interactions based on your mom's body. Wow. Okay? It's a no brainer, Patty, as you understand more and more of it, your mom needs this test like yesterday mm -hmm. because we have to remember something. And I'm going to share a quick story with you. Uh, we do national uh, market awareness campaign calls every day from our company here. So we have a national uh, uh, team of representatives that call on doctors and educate anyone and everyone as we're educating your listeners today and yourself. What we do on that call is 20 minutes background about what we're talking about here today, and we invite listeners to call us and get a one-page letter to take to their doctor, okay? So we had a father call us and say, hey, I want this letter. I gotta take this letter into my daughter's doctor. She'd been dealing with a medical problem for 15 years, and over the last couple of years, she's been regressing. So the father takes this letter to the doctor, and that doctor's reaction was, well, I don't believe in these tests. I've been practicing medicine for 35 years. I know what my patients need, and more importantly, what they don't need. Okay, that was his positioning. Okay. Well, that wasn't good enough for Kevin, so Kevin took this letter to her other doctor. His response was, absolutely, why would we not want more information? So he did the test, results come back, and the second doctor's response to Father Kevin was this. He says, Kevin, I hate to say this, but based on the response, based on the results of the test, I'm surprised that your daughter is still alive. Wow. Because she's been on all the wrong medications and the wrong dosage. So needless to say, the doctor um, reissued, re-prescribed the correct medications and the right dosages. And we invited actually Father Kevin to come on our national call. We do a national call for all of our reps every Tuesday. And, and Kevin came on and shared the story. And he's literally, Patty's literally crying. Wow. He says, you guys don't understand what I'm sharing here with you. I got my daughter back in about 60 days after the doctor prescribed the right medications and the right dosage based on the results. I got my daughter back. You guys don't understand. We've been dealing with this craziness for 15 years. Mm. I got my daughter back in 60 days. So that's how profound this can be for, for a patient and the family. Yeah, and, and, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, while you're talking about the DNA, it sounds like it's a 100% custom uh, because you're using an individual's DNA to, to, to give that data, that information as far as uh, drug reaction and dosage and things like that. It, it just makes sense, actually, while you're talking about it. I'm thinking to myself, I've, I've had my DNA tested for my heritage. My mother has, my husband, my whole family. We all did the test and, and then compared notes and all those wonderful things. It was very cool. And, but it makes total sense that, that your, your DNA, like your fingerprints, are so unique, uh, like a snowflake to each person. It just makes sense yeah. that, that you could use that same science to apply uh, like, like you're describing with this test. Well, let, let's keep this really simple on layman's terms. You and I have had a urine test done by our doctor, correct? Mm -hmm. why, why does a doctor order us a urine test? So that he or she can see the results of what's going on in our body, right? Mm -hmm. And accordingly, treat us. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? Yeah. 
why do we get a blood test done? Same, Same thing. thing. <laughs> Results come back and the doctor can now care for us. Now, why in God's world would we just arbitrarily take medication? Why would a doctor want to just prescribe a medication or a combination of medications without getting this critical information? You see, as brilliant as doctors are, they can't see inside your body or my body, can they? No, no, and it makes sense. how in the world can they prescribe the right drug? Well, it's like you were saying uh, earlier. It's it's like the doctors tend to try a trial and error and then That's tweak right. it as necessary. And, you know, a That's lot right. of things can happen in the meantime. <laughs> that, that, that's exactly right. And, 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 you know, when the science has been out for this long and proven, then every doctor, in our opinion, I'll share a quick story with you. Uh, a, a, a police officer at Texas A&M, Texas A&M, rescued a cat. I know you're a cat fan. All right? <laughs> yes. so he's rescuing he's rescuing a cat. The cat bit him, unfortunately. The bite went through his glove on his hand, so they took him in emergency. And emergency, they gave him a, a medication that had such a severe reaction for that police officer that it put him in the hospital in ICU. He ended up on a ventilator and nine days later, Patty, he died. Wow. From okay. all f beginning from a cat scratch. A cat bite. Or yeah, a cat or bite. scratch, whatever, cat whatever bite. it was, right? Wow. He went in for treatment, was given a medication that didn't suit his body. We have a uh, one of our representatives in, in Ohio, uh, his uh, daughter-in-law, beautiful mother, mother of five, 37 years old, um, one Sunday afternoon, she tells the family, hey, I'm going to go take a nap. I'm not feeling well. And her little baby girl ran and found mommy dead. Okay. Carrie was unfortunately on eight medications. And that day, her body reacted to eight different medications that finally built up in her body and couldn't handle it anymore. And her body shut down. Okay. And she died. So we never know when these medications could have that reaction. It could be a day, it could be 10 days, it could be 10 years. Nobody knows. Yeah, and in fact, uh, talking about stories, uh, horrible stories like that, I have a, a very good friend of mine who had a high school friend of hers. I didn't know the lady, but it was a very close friend to her uh, from high school, and she was camping with her husband and her three children in a campground in her camper. And in the middle of the night, she died. And which could you imagine? I mean, being in a camper with your closest yeah. loved ones, your husband and your three children, and you pass. And at first, they they had no idea what was the cause of death. And from my understanding, it was ruled that there was drug interaction complications, um, and that's what actually killed her. And she was like, you know, barely forty years old. Um, yeah. And th and that's just horrific when you think about, you know, an otherwise healthy young fairly young woman and and mother and I, I just so this is such an exciting uh topic well how can people that are interested after learning some of this information from you today how can they what would you advise them to do as far as finding out more about this test and the letter you talked about and because I, I guarantee uh I, I will want to um for my mom uh investigate yeah. this you have to patty you absolutely have to she absolutely without question, must get this test done, period, period. It's just that simple. We would love to have your listeners call us at 800-989-7703. Again, 800-989-7703. We will be more than pleased to educate the listeners when they call in about the test. We have a nice packet of information to send to them, none of which costs them a single dime. Keep your credit cards in your wallet. Okay. We're not going to sell you anything. We're not going to have you pay for anything. We want to educate you, and more importantly, we want you to take this one-page letter to your doctor. Okay. The way we get paid and the way our lab gets paid is only when the test is done and it's reimbursed uh, by the insurance, age, uh, insurance companies, et cetera. So, Please, there's no cost to you guys calling us for this information. Okay, Again, that's 800 989 Love to educate. Love to hand this one-page letter to you. And uh, we find people immediately take that letter into their doctors to set up an appointment or, of course, next time that they uh, go see their doctor. This is a, this is a urgent – I mean, I cannot emphasize – look, we need medications. 
don't don't get me wrong here. We need medication. It, 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 there's a place for it. And if you unfortunately have to take medication or a combination of medications, why in the world not take the right medication and the right dosage based on you, your body? Mm-hmm. It's nothing but common sense here. Yeah, it actually uh, sounds surprisingly simple. <laughs> it is. It is. It's totally non-invasive. Q-tip in your mouth goes into, you know, into the lab, and it's that simple. Uh, two minutes. That's all it takes to get people on the right meds. So when a doctor does this now for the patient, they also have the ability to now prescribe the right medication, the right dosage, and again, right from the beginning, rather than playing that like guessing game that they have to play. With all due respect to the medical community. Yeah, no, that it makes it makes so much sense, and I'm I'm just really glad to have you on and discuss this, and I can't wait to. Uh, um, I will call and I'll get that information and get get my Still. get that into my mom's hands and I'm, uh, I'll have to uh, you know talk again to you after after uh, she does all that and we see how that goes because this has been a struggle for her for uh, you know years decades uh, for her to tweak the medication she was literally just in the hospital two nights ago I got a call oh, at ten kidding. o'clock ten thirty at night yeah that my mom was in the hospital. Uh, because her her blood pressure was 232 over like 140. I mean, it was stroke level, um, and she was feeling it, and she knew that it had been a couple of days of really really elevated, and it always runs high. But it was it was so serious that um, she's you know had to go to the hospital, and they really is they really couldn't do a whole lot. They got it down by trying this medication or that one, but again, it was trial and error. And yeah. she also walks a lot slower, so the, she'll tell you herself the medications that she's on right now uh, make her walk super slow. And I have a feeling that, you know, once she's on the right medication, maybe all that will really greatly improve because she's otherwise healthy. Yeah. So I'm very curious about this. Is there another? Is there a website in case someone wanted to do do any more? Uh, you know, see see more information, or you would just recommend calling the number. Yeah, call our number. We'll, we've got a, a very nice packet of information that's very clear, concise, not confusing. So the best thing for your listeners is to call us. Okay. And, and, and who should call us? You know, here's, here's two questions that we ask anyone and everyone. Do you or anyone in your family take medication, yes or no? The answer, of course, unfortunately to that question is yes, like 95 plus percent. OK, mm-hmm. second question is, have you or anybody in your family ever had a reaction to a medication? Unfortunately, the response is around 85, 90 percent of the folks we ask that question of say yes to that question. So to your listeners, if you've said yes and yes to both those questions, you need to call like yesterday, literally get this information and get it in the hands yeah. of your doctor, period. Yeah. And and it's nice to know it's not something that you know you're not charging them anything you're they're nope. ju- you're just going to send them information that they need that they can yep. take to their doctor and get the insurance company uh, to pay for this very simple test it sounds like yeah and just to be clear I want to not misguide anybody out there not all insurance companies pay for this now okay. what our lab does is they do a pre authorization and they will let the patient know whether they're covered or not before running the test. In the chance that they're not covered, we give that patient the opportunity to pay cash for it. It's a one-time test, a lifetime test, and it's $1,200, which only 30% is up front. Then the lab takes 12 payments, which is about $80 a month for the rest of the year. So it's a very inexpensive test. But again, many people are covered under Medicare. Many people in 17 states are covered under Medicaid. And many insurance companies now are also reimbursing. So uh, make sure to call us. There's no surprises with us. Everybody knows if they're covered or not. And then we give them an option if they're not covered to pay this. Okay. Okay. Well, that makes crystal clear. Yeah, Yeah. no, that's very helpful to know that going in. So people aren't, you know, surprised. Absolutely. uh, Or or assuming that, oh, it's going to be covered automatically. We don't want to mislead anybody. Yeah. Yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. So what we do is, you know, we give the letter to the patient. The patient takes it into the doctor. Of course, his doctor's discretion whether to do the testing. This is business, his practice, and so on. His or her, I should say. And, and so we we will then answer the questions for the doctor. 
if the doctor wants to pursue this, then we'll set them up as an account of ours in the labs. And then we send them the supplies and then patient mom can get her test done. It's a very simple process. Okay. No cost to the doctor. And, and again, uh, hopefully uh, Medicare in, in your mom's situation may cover her or, or whatever. Well, I think this is great stuff. I'm just really happy that I had you on for this episode. And uh, I just, I hope it helps a lot of people, including my mom. <laughs> so I do appreciate you, know, you coming on. <laughs> I, I wish I had hours to share all the stories, frankly, of the feedback that we have gotten from patients that are now on the right meds and the right dosage. It absolutely does make an impact in people's lives. There's no question about it. Well, hopefully, yeah, hopefully I'll be uh, able to pass along my mom's story uh, in a couple of months. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll have uh, Ken reach out to you, who you, you've talked to and exchange uh, messaging, and uh, we'll get that information over to you, Patty. Please do get your mom tested as quickly as possible. Okay, well, thank you so much, Sunil. I am just happy uh, to have had you on, and thanks for sharing everything. Uh, thank you. And again, thank you for helping put the spotlight on this. I mean, Again, not to be redundant, but is baffling why in the world every doctor and every patient doesn't know about this. So I, I really thank you, really, for helping us get the message out. Well, you're welcome. Well, this wraps up this episode of the Pitbull Patty Show, and uh, we'll see you next time.